Hey there, welcome to another marriage replenishment message from The Color of Marriage. Imagine if every word you said to your spouse echoed back to you. Would your own words bring you joy or would they cause you pain? It's a sobering thought, isn't it? The power of words in a marriage can't be overstated. Every syllable, every inflection carries weight, shaping the story of your union. Words can be a balm, soothing hurt feelings and mending misunderstandings, but they can also be a sword, cutting deep and leaving scars that may never fully heal. Empathy is key. Imagine the impact your words might have if they were directed at you. Would you wince? Would you smile? The golden rule doesn't just apply to actions, it extends to our language too. We must remember that our words are our choice. They can be a bridge or a barrier, a salve or a sting. Words once spoken can't be taken back. They have the power to build or break, to heal or hurt. Choose them wisely. The scriptures are not just words on paper. They are a guide to a fulfilling life, even in your marriage. Ephesians 4 31 32 instructs us to let go of bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor and slander. Instead, it urges us to be kind, tender-hearted and forgiving towards one another, just as God has forgiven us. That includes our spouse. In practical terms, this means controlling our anger, practicing patience, and choosing forgiveness over resentment. It might mean taking a deep breath before responding in a heated discussion, or perhaps it means choosing to express love in the face of hurtful words. Then, we have 2 Peter 1, 3, 8. It talks about the divine power that grants us everything for life and godliness. It's a ladder of virtues, faith, goodness, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, mutual affection and love. Apply these qualities in your daily interactions with your spouse, be it a simple conversation or a serious disagreement. In the heat of the moment, it's easy to forget these teachings, but remember it's in those moments that they matter the most. Now think about your own marriage, how do you communicate with your spouse? As we embark on this journey of reflection, let's consider our own communication habits. Are we the epitome of kindness and patience, or do we often find ourselves quick to anger and slow to forgive? In the grand scheme of things, understanding our own communication patterns is the first step towards a healthier relationship. It's about developing self-awareness, acknowledging our shortcomings, and displaying a willingness to change. Remember, every word we utter holds the power to build or break. It's not just about what we say, but how we say it. Our tone, our choice of words, our timing, they all count. So, as we continue to navigate the intricate maze of marital communication, let's strive to be more mindful. As you go about your day, keep this in mind. What if you could hear everything you said to your spouse through their ears? Would you change how you speak? Keep this in mind and watch the transformation unfold. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. Also, if you agree with this message and feel others should hear it, please share and like it.